Hey everybody, it's me, Lieberman. Uh, there, there is no Ask Liebs today, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, I know that a lot of you look forward to it every single day, and I look forward to giving it to you. Um, it's not happening today for a few reasons. One, uh, we had a big like move around the office today, um, which disrupted a lot of the shooting schedule. Uh, I normally shoot all these videos over the weekend, but after SourceFed Live, I, I kind of just took it easy this weekend, and maybe I shouldn't have. I don't know. You you guys know at this point that uh, I share sometimes a little too much, but just enough for you. Do you know what I mean? Like like if if I were talking to an authority figure, or like if I had a YouTube parent, they would say stop it. Uh, but fucking, I think we're close enough that I can tell you, and you can handle it. Just that. Uh, I didn't have time to shoot it today. That I'm I'm shooting these now every day, trying to catch up, and um, I, I just didn't have time today. Instead, though, because it's kind of a fortuitous time, I do have something that I want to talk about, which is um, that I I started at SourceFed almost a year ago. Um, today is what March third, second or third. My first video was posted on March 20th of last year. And that means that my last audition was like towards the end of February. So about this time last year, I was ripping my hair out, freaking out about whether or not I got this job. Um, and I'm very, very happy, of course, that I did. And it, it changed the complete, uh, the landscape of my life and of my future. It opened a hell of a lot of doors um, that, I mean, like, in many ways are still closed, but someday, who knows? Uh, and I guess I wanted to, it's hard. I'm so scattered right now, but um, it hasn't been the easiest year. I had a lot of stuff that I needed to learn. I thought that I knew what I was getting into. Um, but I think it's safe to say that at the very beginning, I really didn't understand YouTube, even though I thought I did. Um, I had to get used to my coworkers. They had to get used to me. Our personalities didn't always mesh, but I feel like we're finally in a good place where we understand each other. We work well together. The audience and I didn't always understand each other. Uh, and there are a lot of people that I think have written me off, but that's also okay. Cause not everybody is ever, is supposed to like you, let alone uh, not everybody is ever going to like you. I learned a lot about myself this year. I learned what I'm capable of. And I also feel like through this channel and through getting to know you and trying to help you, I learned what my calling in life is you know i i love entertaining people i love being funny i love doing comedy for a living and informing people for a living but the root of all of that is just wanting to help wanting to help either guide or take your minds off of terrible things that are going on in your lives because i remember what it was like I still deal with depression. I still deal with self-image, with my weight. I have a lot of insecurity. I'm still figuring out relationships. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to learn how to communicate, which is the hardest thing in the world. And I'm trying to learn how to be vulnerable. It's in a perverse way. It's a lot easier to be vulnerable here with you than it is to be vulnerable with people that I actually know uh, in my real life, my loved ones. I feel like I've been just pumping out the energy and trying to be funny for so long as a, as a defense mechanism, it's hard to turn off sometimes. And um, I guess I wanted to thank, I wanted to thank you anyone who's ever watched anything that I've done, especially these videos, for giving me the opportunity to learn about myself and to start my career and to build something that I think is going to be phenomenal. I don't know how far it'll reach. I don't even wanna know. I wanna be surprised. 
And uh, I think if there's anything to be taken away from this past year, which I'll be frank, I there were a few times that I was not sure whether or not I'd make it a full year here at SourceFed. Um, there were certainly plenty of people who were calling for my my firing or my resignation or whatever over the course of my time uh, at the channel. But I'm so glad to be there and I'm so glad to be here with you. And there's a lot of cool stuff coming, both for SourceFed and for here. Um, my studio is finally getting painted. All the wood has been bought and the lights and the sound and the PVC piping and it's all there. It's all just sitting there in a room. And uh, we're so close to really having this thing up and running and making this channel look and feel as great as it should. Hey, Danny. Matt Lieberman is a good man. Thanks, Danny. You're a great girl. I'm a 30 year old woman. You're my best gal. <laughs> Danny Rosenberg is fucking dynamite and is the light of all of our lives. And if you don't agree, then you can get out. Uh, anyway, I just um, I, I just wanted to say I just wanted to say one one more time, thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody who's ever supported me since I started at SourceFed, who gave me a chance, who let me grow and figure out what I was supposed to do in time. Um, to anybody who was distrusting at first and found their way to accepting me, thank you. And um, I hope I continue to impress you and not let you down. It's a very precious gift, this opportunity. And um, I can't believe, I cannot believe a year's gone by already. Time fucking flies when you're having fun. I love my Libra friends. I'll see you tomorrow. Ask Liebs as usual. Goodbye.